In this video, we will discuss the inquiries and reservations screen found within the Corporate Control Center. To access this screen, we're going to scroll down on the left-hand sidebar to inquiries and reservations. This is a great tool to view what units are available for a given site amongst your different sites that you have and to also create an inquiry. In this particular case, for this site, we have two different locations demo and demo one. When I highlight the respective location, I'm going to see all the different sizes. If I double click on a size, I'm going to see all the units that are available within that size. So if we had a phones that are rolling over to a central location and someone calls up and they say, what sizes do you have available for this given location? I can quickly choose that particular location and then bring up what unit sizes and prices are available. If I have a facility that's full, Maybe I want to tell them about my other facility that's a few miles down the road. Those are the kind of inferences that can be made by using this particular tool. In addition to that, we have our standard inquiry that we can process. And that is done in three steps. The first step is choosing your site, then going to customer and adding that customer information. You don't need to put in all their information, but their phone number typically or an email along with their name click OK yes we want to add this then we go to unit and discount we've already chosen the site that we want to have the unit from I can either click on the size or double click on the size and then choose a unit in this particular case there's only one unit available for that size click OK then the last step is we go to schedule how did the person talk to us? Where did it originate from? Was it from the web? Was it from a phone call in this case? Is it an inquiry? That being someone that's inquiring, they may not necessarily be moving in. They're asking you what your prices are as opposed to a reservation. The reservation would be someone that says, I want this unit if it becomes available or I want a unit on a respective date. If it's a reservation, there's some other choices in terms of when it's needed when you should follow up with them, when that expires. If they want to set an appointment, we can put an appointment date there. Are we going to give them a quoted rate? Are we going to give them a rate that's possibly lower than what the standard rate is? We can put in credit card information for auto bill, and then we can have a reservation fee, which we can add to their account. There is also an option to send a bulletin to the site so that they're aware of this reservation happening. Then we save it. Do we want to save a follow-up call? Yes or no, that's a choice. And do we want to save these changes? Yes. We can send a bulletin to the facility. Then we have also have then we also have options for letters. If we want to send a booking confirmation notice, we can go to the map. and see where our units are located for that given site. And if we have any follow-ups pending, if there's people that we need to follow up with or we want to put notes when we make a call for someone on the reservation list, we can go into this screen.